With the changing dynamics of the testing industry, the whole environment today has shifted by adopting an agile methodology to bring in more ease and flexibility in testing. Let's delve deeper into the concept of an agile methodology for your testing needs. The areas to be covered under this video will be the definition of agile with an insight into the generic agile methodology, a few basic agile principles and the various type of agile methodologies which include a scrum model, extreme programming and feature driven development. So what does agile refers to as a jargon in the testing industry? Such a methodology essentially attempts to minimize risk and maximize productivity by developing software in short iterations and de-emphasizing work in secondary or in dream work artifacts. There are different types of agile methodologies like scrum model, extreme programming and feature driven development which we shall discuss later in this video. Let's now look at the generic method of an agile environment or an agile SDLC that is the software development life cycle. It starts with project initiation. In this phase, the initial project requirements are gathered and analyzed followed by chalking out the project plan. Under the project plan, we discuss various aspects of development, testing on the basis of the given requirements and decide the delivery time of the same. Subsequently, we elaborate these requirements to different QA and dev teams to work on. This whole process happens release over release repeatedly. Moving on to the basic aspects that need to be kept under consideration, we have the elemental agile principles wherein one needs to do things in small increments with minimal planning. The iteration should have short time frames, time boxes that should last up to just two to four weeks. Follow a full SDLC. Team sizes are usually small to help make team communication and team collaboration easier. For larger development efforts, multiple team works with a common goal. Each team has a customer representative for answering mid-iteration problematic questions. There are frequent meetings with the representative and internally in the team to discuss the progress being made and problem being faced. Produce less written documents. Highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software products. Here is an example of a typical agile iteration cycle of a sprint for any software development. We pick the requirements from the backlog and start working simultaneously on these requirements, considering that we have a fixed time frame to complete all the requirements that are committed in that particular sprint. In agile iteration, feature design, building and testing is performed simultaneously. A basic scrum model is presented here. Let's discuss each and every component of this model in detail. The overall project team is called a scrum team. Product backlog contains all the known requirements of a product. Sprint backlog contains all requirements on which work needs to be done and a period of work is referred to as a sprint. Daily meetings with the whole team is known as daily scrum in which progress of each and every user story that needs to be delivered at that end of sprint is discussed. A burn down chart is used to track the progress of that sprint. An incremental delivery of the features is done at the end of the sprint. Scrum board is a visual display which is used to track the progress of user stories in any sprint. It gives a clear understanding on the sprint progress. It is visible to all the members in the scrum team and each member is aware of everyone else's progress. A basic scrum board contains a column of user stories, that is, the list of user stories that are committed for the particular sprint. In progress, that is, the user stories picked up by the development team for development. Testing, that is, the user stories picked up by the QA team for testing and done, which is the column that contains all the user stories which are completed and are ready for release. The burn down chart is used as a tool to guide the development team to successful completion of a sprint on time. It shows the cumulative work remaining in a sprint day by day. The total of all the sprint backlog minus the estimated work which is to be completed is the cumulative backlog. When the tasks are completed as the sprint proceeds, 
the scrum master recalculates the remaining work to be done and the sprint backlog decreases or burn down over time. If the cumulative sprint backlog is zero, at the end of the sprint, the sprint is successful. Scrum teams do not allow changes in their sprints. Once the sprint planning meeting is completed and a commitment is made to deliver a set of product backlog items, the set of items remain unchanged through the end of the sprint. XP teams are much more amenable to change within their iterations. As long as team hasn't started the work on a particular feature, a new feature of equivalent size can be swapped into the XP team's iterations in exchange for the unstarted feature. XP Project Implementation, Development, Scrum Project Management Metaphor All members on an XP team use common names and descriptions to guide development and communicate on common terms. Refactoring XP programmers improve the design of the software through every stage of development instead of waiting until the end of development and going back to correct flaws. Coding standard. The programmers all write code in the same way. This allows them to work in pairs and to share ownership of the code. Pair programming. All code is written by a pair of programmers working at the same machine. Feature driven development or FDD is an agile and adaptive approach for developing systems. The FDD approach does not cover the entire software. Development process but rather focuses on the design and building phases, Palmer and Felsing 2002. However, it has been designed to work with other activities of software development project and does not require any specific process model to be used. The FDD approach embodies iterative development with the best practices found to be effective in industry. It emphasizes the quality aspects throughout the process and includes frequent and tangible deliveries along with the accurate monitoring of the progress of the project. FDD consists of five sequential processes and provides the methods, techniques and guidelines needed by the project stakeholders to deliver the system. Furthermore, FDD includes the roles, artifacts, goals and timelines needed in a project. Unlike some other agile methods, FDD claims to be suitable for the development of critical systems. FDD was first reported in COD et al. 2000. It was then further developed on the basis of the work done for a large software development project by Jeff Luca, Peter Cord, and Stephen Palmer. In conclusion, adapting Agile will boost software development productivity and reduce risk. Agile is not limited to Scrum and Sprint, Various product teams use different type of agile methodologies according to their own requirements. We hope that you learned a little something from our video. To keep on exploring on the same, log on to our site www.qainfotech.com. Thank you.